Not okay, on today's Your Belinda Park review, we're gonna be doing a two for one special and you'll find out why shortly. So first, we're gonna be visiting Mustang Fields Playground located right off of Fairmont Boulevard behind Your Belinda High School. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is definitely more of a playground than a park, so not very big. However, there is still a lot of things to do here, so let's go ahead and check out the playground. So around the park, you'll find a bunch of different things to flip, spin, beat on, and of course, Zach's favorite, the mirror. Don't ask me why I got this shot, but Zach almost hit me in the face. There's definitely swings here, as well as different rock climbing areas, slides to go down, even monkey bars, although Zach was a little bit too big to be able to swing on them. So one thing I do like about this park is it's one of the only ones in your balloon that has at least a little bit of shade, so during the summer months it keeps the playground equipment at least a little bit cooler. This park also has bathrooms available, it has the baseball fields, it has drinking fountain, and it also has a big area that you can sit at, eat some snacks, eat some lunch in between playing. So another thing I really like about this park is it's very wheelchair friendly. So you can go up the ramp, go up to the very top, and then wheel all the way back down to the beginning. So although you can't access everything, it definitely makes getting around in a wheelchair a lot easier. Okay, so now this is why we're doing the two for one special. So right next to this park, which we're actually walking to right now is another park called Fairmont Knowles Park. So we're gonna go ahead and check out both today because they're right next to each other. Now this park is kind of hidden in the back and so you can't really see it from the street. However, it's right behind the tennis courts when you go through Fairmont Boulevard. Now this park is definitely not as friendly for little kids. It's more for ages five through 12 is what they rate it for. So if you have smaller kids, they're going to have a hard time being able to reach some of these things, as well as some of the features on here are a little unsafe for kids under the age of five. However, if you have a kid that's really into American Ninja Warrior, they're going to love this place. Now the reason I like this park is because it is located right next to the Mustang Field Park which is more meant for little kids. So if you have big kids and little kids in your family, you can be able to utilize both of these parks and it has something for everyone. So on top of that, if you have a bigger kid and you want to get some energy out, this is definitely the place to go. There's also a giant grass field behind this area, you have picnic benches, and it's also dog friendly so there's a dog poop bag station as well as a bathrooms and water fountain. Now for the most important part, let's go ahead and see what Zach has to say about both of these parks. Okay, so we're here at Fairmont Knowles Park today. So Zach, what do you think of this park? It's good and I like this little spin thing. Mm -hmm. There's some swings here and there's like a giant big, um, big thing of ropes and a balance like, kind of like a hammock and a, uh, thing that You're has basically saying this is like a ninja warrior ninja yeah warrior. yeah so this is like a ninja warrior course is what he was telling me and it is important to note that this one is rated for five to twelve year olds so it's one of the few it is important to note that this one's rated for, for five to twelve year olds so it is a little bit of a bigger kid park so the tiny ones probably won't do too well in here there's still swings and some things that can go down but if they want to get full use of the park, you probably want to have, I would say, at least four years old, if not older, to be able to go on all the different things here and be able to use them. <laughs> Anything else that you like about this park specifically, Zach? Uh, yes. I... Not too close. I had, like... Yeah, I like the slides, the monkey bars, the... I liked, um... A lot of things here. Okay, a little bit of everything? Yeah. Okay, so we Also that them... spinny thing especially. Yeah, Soup! <laughs> or especially. Okay, so would you like to come to this park again? Do you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, two thumbs up? What do you think? 
double thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, you heard it from Zach. Two thumbs up for this park. So definitely check it out. It's in the back, so it's hard to find. But once you come here, there's a lot of stuff to play on. Okay, Zach, so what do you think about the Mustang Field Park? Well, it's pretty small, but fun. Okay. A lot of fun. There's like a wood chips twister. There's okay. um, a... Some bridges to go up and down yeah. and run around. Lots of bridges go in circles. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a slide. Yep. One of them's You're... super duper fast. Okay. Would you say that one's more for little kids versus the one that we just went to, which was the Fairmont Knowles one? Uh, more for little kids, I think. And so, let's see. I'm going to tell you this, that there's also a little, like, um, rock you forget? climbing okay. wall. Okay, rock climbing, yep. And it's super fun. That okay. one's kind of like for little kids and big kids, so. Okay. We'll see you next time. Okay, so you heard it from Zach. So what do you, before we go, what do you rate that park? So what do you rate the Mustang Field Park? Uh, thumbs up, a thumbs down, or two thumbs up? Which one? Or no thumbs up. Or no thumbs up. Or a sideways thumb up, what do you do? I mean, yeah. One thumbs up, okay. Yeah. So yes, the Mustang Field Parks, a little bit more for younger kids. Fairmont Knoll Parks, a little bit more for older kids. So it's a good combination and you could walk in between them, which also is good for exercise. So until next time, we will see you at the next park view. <laughs> Bye everybody.